We start with this. A double murderer was back in court today to face yet another change in his sentencing. Joseph Alicio killed two children in Old Forge when he was 15 years old back in 1981. Nearly a year later, he was found guilty of murder by a jury and was sentenced to death row before being resentenced to life without parole a few years later. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler was in court today. He joins us live now from Scranton tonight with the latest. Cody. Nick, good evening. This resentencing comes after a U.S. Supreme Court ruling in 2012 and 2016 that banned mandatory sentence of life without parole for juvenile offenders. Nearly 40 years later, Alicio's fate is back in a judge's hand. A Lackawanna County judge handed down a third sentence on now 53 year old Joseph Alicio for a double murder back in 1981 when he was just 15 years old. After a five and a half hour long hearing, Judge Vito Garulo sentenced Alicio to a minimum of 30 years to life behind bars for each murder victim with a chance of parole at year 60. We're pleased with Judge Derulo's decision. It pretty much guarantees that uh, inmate Alicio will die in prison. In July of 1981, Alicio fatally shot Cheryl and Christopher Zimba in a house Alicio's father was helping build. He accidentally shot and killed Christopher before intentionally killing the boy's sister. Alicio then cleaned the murder scene and hid the bodies in a nearby strip mine. He then helped in a two-day search carried out by the community before the bodies were found and he was arrested. It was just a totally uh, destructive period of time and people have never forgotten it. Ernest Priate was the Lackawanna County District Attorney prosecuting the case. He sat with the Zimba family Wednesday during the hearing to learn Alicio's fate for the third time. It vindicated uh, the jury's verdict and vindicated the evidence that we put together back almost 40 years ago. The defense brought four witnesses to the stand to testify, including Alicio, who told his side of the story on what occurred on July 26, 1981. 38 years later, he comes in with a different version. He couldn't even get straight who he shot first, and then to say it just happened or they died. How, how disingenuous could that be? The Commonwealth brought 13 witnesses to the stand, including SRI retreat correction officers, former state troopers who investigated the case, a firefighter who helped in the search, plus prison psychologists. Now, the, they testified Alicio was never genuine, never showed remorse, and or never took ownership of what he had done. In Scranton. Cody Butler, Ominous News. All right, Cody, thank you for the update. And Alicio will be eligible for parole in 22 years after serving 60 years behind bars. He will be 75 years old then.